تحت البنيه التحتيه لتكنولوجيا المعلومات والاتصالات الجهاز العصبي للمدينه الذكيه المستدامه فهي التي تنظم التفاعلات بين العناصر المختلفه والبنيه التحتيه الماديه وتعمل كذلك كمنصه تاسيسيه يمكن ان يقوم تشغيل مختلف الخدمات الذكيه عليها بنجاحه وعلى اكمل وجه. فالمدينه الذكيه المستدامه تستخدم البنيه التحتيه لتكنولوجيا المعلومات والاتصالات للعديد من الاغراض بطريقه تجمع بين قابليه التكيف وامكان التعديل وسهوله التطبيق والامن والسلامه. الامر الذي يسهم في توفير مستويات معيشه اعلى وتوفير المزيد من فرص العمل وتحسن رفاهيه او تحسين رفاهيه المواطنين من خلال وسائل عديده الرعايه الطبيه، العنايه والسلامه البدنيه، التعليم، الخدمات التي تعتمد على البنيه التحتيه الماديه مثل النقل او المياه، بالاضافه الى تعزيز الوقايه من الكوارث وادارتها عند حدوثها. بما في ذلك القدره على التعامل مع اعصار تغير المناخ وتوفير اليات تنظيم وحوكمه فعاله ومتوازنه. فمجالات التطبيق للمدن الذكيه متعدده وشامله. وباختصار فان المدينه الذكيه مستدامه ترسي نهجا مستداما يلبي احتياجات الوقت الحاضر مع ضروره تلبيه احتياجات الاجيال القادمه لا سيما في التطور المستمر للتكنولوجيا وبما يسهم في نهايه الامر في تحسين ظروف الحياه بشكل عام وتحسين بيئه الاعمال بشكل خاص. انا لن اطيل في كلمتي الافتتاحيه فمعنا اليوم حل من الخبراء اصحاب المعالي الوزراء والذين سيجريون بمجالات تخصصهم في هذا المجال. ولا يسعني في الختام الا ان اشكر لكم حضوركم الطيب وان اكرر ترحيبي بكم متمنية كل التوفيق والنجاح لهذه الندوه ومتمنية ايضا لضيوفنا الكرام تصيب الاقامه في الاردن والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته Your Excellency, Mr. Abdul Baltaji, Mayor of the Greater Amman Municipality, your current address will lead a remarkable direction of how smart urbanization can be planned. Thank you. I thought I was uh, the one before last on the list, but uh, taking it as a surprise is not a bad idea. Um, let me first. Uh, Thank you, uh, Madam Minister, for such inspiring words. And uh, on behalf of uh, His Excellency, the Prime Minister, I, I was at the launch this morning and I was totally impressed with how we look at Jordan in uh, 2025. Uh, this, this makes us uh, uh, a bigger and vital country that, that is moving uh, forward. And uh, quoting uh, a word or two from His Excellency the Prime Minister's speech this morning, he said in a troubled area like uh, ours, we might be the only country to launch a 10-year plan, uh, considering whatever is going around, but that is resolved uh, in moving uh, forward. We also thank you, uh, Dr. Bozel, for giving us such a chance to be with such a distinguished panel and uh, a great mayor uh, and uh, friends from uh, uh, <coughs> To be a mayor is uh, a task and is a mission. It is not a position. I have mentioned time and again that uh, at my age and uh, with uh, 50 plus years of experience, in various fields of public service and private sector service uh, to be uh, brought into such a position uh, selected and not elected is even making it tougher than uh, being elected because elected uh, I will not be elected again by the constituency if I fail but selected I will be fired if I fail the one was selected me. And the satisfaction of the people is what uh, makes a difference here and what is the, the, the focus. But let me go back, not thousands of years and not hundreds of, of, of years. I always like to make two, three quotes that are probably some of you have heard them, but if you have, I will use them in a, in a different manner as if it's the first time that you, you uh, have come to, to hear them. Uh, 
trying to be the great philosopher of the time in the mid uh, 20th century uh, when he defined uh, history uh, as geography in motion. History, as we were taught in school, was a country taking uh, over the other, and uh, uh, the boundaries change and the geography change north, south, east, and west, and the resources and assets of the country. Later on, I was with His Majesty on a trip to Singapore, and to be specific, on the 19th of June 2001 only five hours after I was sworn in as Chief Commissioner of Aqaba Special Economic Zone. And uh, he said we would go and uh, speak to the uh, great and, uh, investors and brains of uh, Singapore and see what Singapore is all about. And I was wondering uh, which Singapore I would be talking to. The Singapore that geographically and historically was part of Malaysia and the Kingdom of Thailand, or what? But as His Majesty was talking about uh, Lee Kuan Yew and what he has achieved and, and what Singapore was all about in its uh, presence in the world of the economy, I uh, rephrased His Majesty's words and vision about Singapore. So in the opening speech the following day at 9.30, we arrived at 7.30, we changed our clothes on the plane and from the plane straight to the meeting room and that's how King Abdullah works by the way. If, if you have it, uh, pray to God that you will and uh, so you will enjoy that kind of uh, time schedule he has. So I told the audience, I said, you know what, coming to Singapore, I was thinking of trying this definition of uh, history is geography in motion and about how you guys came out to be uh, independent and, and so on and so forth. But with His Majesty's outlook at Singapore, Tony today, if he was with us, he would have rephrased and redefined this to history, his economies in motion, economies in motion. Because with a uh, handset or with a, uh, a, a smart city like like uh, Singapore, you could, you could do with San Francisco and you can do with Melbourne over a telephone uh, with any transaction you want. And then you can move all these economies with no borders whatsoever. No borders would hold one economy to go in the air. But now when I look around and what's happening in